Hi, you gonna come say hello? Well, hi there. Aren't you a doll? Oh, what a sweetie. Good afternoon. It looks like it's uh, another lovely day here for a change. Hey poobies. I thought you guys might get a kick out of this. Uh, this belongs to our friend uh, Luke uh, from Coastal Auto Reaction and this is a really nice 1968 Dodge uh, D200 I think they call these. Custom cab with all the deluxe trim. Let's have a quick look before we get into it here fellows retired and had to go uh, take a take a break because they drove here from Vancouver Island so I thought since I was here I would uh, get a little head start on it but let's uh, let's have a looky I just think these are fantastic looking trucks and this one is particularly nice example very few owners uh, Luke gave me the once over on it and uh, oh sorry about the noise fellas uh, they're uh, some kind of construction on the road so sorry about the background noise here the boys were in town uh, visiting and uh, we've decided that it would be kind of fun because uh, Luke needs some patchwork done on this thing and I need some repairs done on my uh, pickup truck there and uh, I thought it would be fun if we traded uh, shit work so I'm gonna put some patches in the Dodge here and uh, Luke's gonna do some repairs on my Cummins so that'll be fun because I am not much of a diesel mechanic, and he definitely is. Let's have a look at what we're up against here. Nick at uh, Nick's Garage uh, built the engine for this lovely truck. It's not currently installed, but they thought it might be fun if we did a few repairs to get it ready. And it is such a nice machine. I thought it might be a good opportunity to get a little bit ahead of this in case it turns out to be more than, a, than an afternoon's work. So what we got to do here... So this is very typical of this generation of truck. There's this nice step here. And uh, it looks like at one point it had a plate over top of it. Uh, but what's happened, and very typically, these all rust out. So I can see uh, what's behind. The rocker is excellent. The inner rocker is excellent. And this is the only part that's bad. So I'm going to try to splice it in without disturbing too much of the original uh, panel work here. And it looks like there's a row of spots along here. So we're going to have to get around that. I'm going to try and keep my repair way down here. I'm going to probably bring it right out to here. Keep it all very small. Uh, Luke is not absolutely, you know, fanatical if it's on the factory seams or not. Because that makes this a much more involved job. It's really just about keeping it solid and safe and dry. So rather than having the tires splash water up in the interior, we're going to just sort that out. He's got some very presentable looking patch panels here. So we're gonna do both sides. And uh, you can see there is what looks like the floor pan repair. Off the top of my head, it looks like the wrong side though. So we'll have to see what's going on there. Is there two of them? I'm gonna assume that the correct side is nearby or that I can, uh, I'll just put something together if we have to. We're going to do a few little repairs here. If we have lots of leftover time, I'd like to sort this out for them. This is where there used to be a gas tank and now there's just a big hole. So it'd be nice to sort that out because the rest of the truck is so nice. Okay, so first thing first. I'm just going to mow this all off and separate it along the uh, inner rocker here. And then we will uh, we'll go from there. So I'll cut to the post cut. Luke and Rob are here and they're gonna start tackling my Cummins killer dowel pin I guess is the is the uh, is the name of the job I didn't even realize what it was till yesterday Dan sent me a picture and it's actually just an alignment pin for the uh, for the timing chain cover it's not actually a drivetrain related piece but I guess that's what kills these things kind of a funny uh, oversight on the engineering department at Dodge uh, of course 412k later it's still in there but I guess this is what this is what kills these things which is kind of funny funny until it happens to you I guess let's say hi and see what's going on 
here's where we're at on the 68. Have a quick look. So all I've done here is just take the uh, the worst of it off, and uh, I've got to trim up the new panel and punch a bunch of holes down the middle of it so we can plug weld it to the inner rocker. And again, look at how good this truck is. Uh, it would be a shame to put the whole replacement piece in when we really only need just the top of it here. So really uh, happy. I was expecting a lot worse than that. So terrific news there. Hey boss, how's hey, it going? It's we going. Uh, you done yet? Yeah, I got. I just got it. I, I, <laughs> all done. Sweet. I quickly whipped it off and I dusted it in. Yeah, I dusted the dowel pin. I dusted dowel in the pin, dowel dust pin. In. And uh, we're oh, good yeah. to go. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. That's fast. No, <laughs> that's some flat rate magic. There. Yeah, that is some, yeah, yeah 3.5. Right <laughs> book time. We're going book 3.5. And let me check the clock. Two minutes and one second. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to it since yeah. it's greasy stuff. I don't understand. I'll let you know when we get to the part where you oh, can yeah. see the shiny I want to see the. Uh, I want to see the killer. I want to see the killer himself. Yeah, before I tap it's the it Jerry in. Lee Lewis of dowel pins. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, the writers are all on strike, so we got to fucking do it ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's the writer's strike again. Who else is on strike? The yeah, fashion department. Apparently, go. my groomer. Frankers is. She's also on strike. You yeah. Can see. She's like, uh, she's supposed to be over here making jokes. Everybody's got a mask on. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're taking the demonetized challenge again here. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, well that's sweet. Yeah. I'll uh, quit fucking ruining the show and I'll go back over here. And I'm going to steal ready? Rob at some point and we're going to start trimming up and making the floor pan there. Perfect, cool. Okay, right on buddy. So, some drama. Oh, we just love drama. Yeah, What's Scott, happened here? I can't here? believe you've done this. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, so what do you think it is? I think that the hose is just deteriorated because it looks like it's around. Oh, ah, okay. You know, about it's probably the original hose. Six. Yeah. All right. But yeah, yeah, that's. Well, we'll see if we can donate it to the Smithsonian. Yeah, we'll donate it. And do you think that we can with... trim it back? That's or what I was thinking. Or is that just yeah? Okay, yeah. good. Because it's got a whole lot of extra. Yeah, there's lots of extra yeah. there. We could trim a, an inch off it anyway. Exactly. Okay, sweet. Oh, good. Thanks for noticing that because that's the kind of thing that blows up when you're halfway to yep. Winnipeg. Yeah. This, uh, we'll clean this up with ozone free, yeah. no additive. <laughs> uh huh. Smiling Dolphin brand. I have my custom tum wrench. Just don't show anybody the master cylinder. That master cylinder is. That's a, that's a survivor. It's minty. It's a survivor. Yeah, that's original paint. Yeah. If that cylinder was in a 440 Super B, it would be worth a lot of money. And they're the same part number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's Chrysler. Yeah, well, it's got it a 77 New Yorker booster on it, right? Yeah, it does. They're yeah. identical. That's sweet. I actually have a guy looking for one. There you go. I'm wondering, can you stop these with manual brakes and I can make 50 bucks selling that? Survivor too? boosters. <laughs> Today, they're going for on yeah. Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Facebook, I don't have that. Dude. They go from, well, I'll post it for you. Oh, yeah, right on. They, uh, <laughs> very small seller's fee. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, 70%. All right, at this point, we've got the area cleaned up that we're going to weld to. Got the flange all straightened out, cleaned up. Got my uh, holes marked here. It's a little close to that rib, but we'll get away with it. And just because of the way it wanted to fit, I'm going to punch the holes here and plug weld through the original truck into the new piece. So this is actually going to sit. And that'll sit behind there. And, uh, and I'm just going to stitch weld it along front. And then we can tune it to fit the door as we're going. And, uh, and then we'll uh, stitch weld it here, da, 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 plug weld through there, plug weld here, probably plug weld at that end as well. Overall, uh, going pretty well and uh, good because we got a lot to do. Next we'll start and maybe we'll see how far we get on this hole in the side of the truck where there used to be a gas tank. All right, it's uh, the following day and we're back on the Dodge here. Uh, got a long ways to go, so we got to hustle. There you can see the one repair. And uh, next is uh, probably we're going to go right to this guy. Just do everything on this side of the car first. We're going to switch the other side, do the floor and the, and the sill on that side. Going to be a busy day. Got the fellas from the team Model T coming over later, and I think Dean's coming, and we got to keep going on those guys as well. So I'm going to get grinding here, and we'll stop in in a second. Okay, we're back on the uh, the box side on the 68 Dodge, and I'm just going to make this little square here. So you can see that that 
is more or less flush all the way around and uh, seems to hold itself in there just nicely. So I'm going to just tack it. I don't know if I'm going to weld this completely solid because I don't want to pull the whole side of the box low. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to rough in the bodywork so Luke doesn't have to and if we get a chance I'll put a little primer on or I'll want to see how it goes. But it should be uh, uh, pretty fine to, to use it like this. Let's have a little update on the 12 valve uh, dowel pin our, job here. Our custom Ooh, high end. Thick. Very nice. And all that does is and it goes stop. in there somewhere. Yeah, it goes right in there. That's where the bolt goes. Oh, and yeah. then just over here, yeah. it's pounded back in now. Okay. But that is the dowel pin. Right, and then you can see it's not too hard to imagine what would happen if that were to fall out and there's 17 gears there just waiting to chew it up. Exactly. So that's, that, uh, that really, that's killed thousands of these things, eh? Yes. It's this is a happening. real, yeah. really happening pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> so this that is, goes in there. this is the tab that we yeah. made and that goes back in this little 10 mil bolt hole to plug yeah. okay. where the dowel pin, the killer dowel pin comes out. Yeah. <laughs> and as you can see, it would, uh, Cause yeah. those gears. That would be that would be the end of her. Yeah, that's just end of the story. Yeah. Best case scenario is it goes through the case or down into the oil pan, chewing up the teeth on the way. Right. Not fun. And that's not really a best case anyway. Yeah. Best case is this. Is you this. catch it days before it was gonna fall out. Yeah. Because <laughs> well. it came out by hand, yeah, and then we. So now it's pounded back in because you want to put the pin back in. Right. It is a locator pin. It is important. You do need it. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And then on these early, I'm going to do it to this one. You put a little teeny jog in the end of this. Yeah. Because it's just about an eighth. Yeah. Okay. Just where it mounts. And make sure you use red Loctite. Clean this with brake clean. Put some red Loctite on it. And you're good. Zeus her in. And then start putting her back together. Nice. Here. How's the truck coming? Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a peek. I was just going to dolly the patch out a little bit. So that's where we're at on that guy. Oh, look at that. So. Stupendous. It'd be nice to weld that all solid, but the risk of pulling the whole box side in is. Too great. Well, it just means that if this was all I had to do, this would be hammered and dollied yeah. and yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah, but yeah. we got to get the other side done. Yeah. So I'm going to ding that out. We'll put a little Bondo over there so you don't see perfect. it. Perfect. And that one's done. That, uh, that we'll do the same there. Yeah. And uh, then, yeah, should be good for life now. So I'll get started on the other side, and then we got to figure out the floor. If we can get the other well, step at least today. one of those pieces done today, yeah. and then the other one tomorrow, that's about as far as we're yeah. going to go. But Works uh, for me. that means we got four of them in, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, right on. I'll just move all my shit. Yeah, there we are. Kind of just cleaned up. This side's not even as bad as the other side, which was not bad. So uh, let's just trim up the piece and only put in what we need, and shouldn't be too hard. See that one? On Craigslist? Yeah, you did. Oh, that's the yellow one? No, the two-door brown one. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Stop talking about Lincolns. Get to work, you pirate. <laughs> Poor Dean. Poor, Poor Dean. Dean, my ass. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Oh, it's driveway dust in time. Hey, yeah. Look at that, I fucked it up. <laughs> uh, so, we don't get to paint this guy, but we're going to at least finish it out to put some rattle can kind of Yeah, yeah, there. she's going to get rattle primed. Rattle can action. Yeah. That's a million times better it's than it was. Not, uh, yeah, well, you can't see through it anymore, Scott. We'll get, uh, yeah, it's not a hole, so no. that's, we can always say that anyway. Yeah. Okay, let me finish it up here. Okay. Go yeah, it's to watch this. Is it going? Got the perfect shot. <laughs> no, it's going. Look at this. It is the perfect shot. Yeah, that's the perfect shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Now. Yeah, yeah. The perfect shot is the one that Al gets and nobody else. Oh, look at this old baby. Look at that sucker roll. Start Brooks to be proud. Sprayer roll. Look at that. Let's just do the whole truck like that. Is 
views on views. Just a quick double turn. That was a, uh, a pretty long day, and let's have a look at the finished 1968 Dodge project here. So, just gonna leave Luke and the fellas to finish it up at their place, but we did get step plate in there. Um, we got this filled, did a little sketchy bodywork there. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. Now you can paint that at his leisure. There we go. And over here, so we just, uh, oops, ended up making a uh, floor repair. <laughs> kind of a little bit off on the dimple there, but it actually doesn't matter. It works anyway. As long as it's bigger than the washer, we're okay. So just overlapped, plug welded, and uh, kind of stretched it into the corner there. Uh, worked out just fine. And uh, of course, the other step here. And finished. So the boys are gonna paint that up and seal it and whatever when they get home because we are just simply out of time. That is, uh, that is the very last sunset of the visit here. So we are happy to have pulled all that off. I'm gonna clean up some shit and then it's time for hanging out for a bit. Okay, uh, back on the 60 Fury and uh, more stainless, getting very near the end, but uh, this is the uh, roof rail for the driver's side, you can see. Got it cleaned up and I'm just going to lay strip caulking all along where it was originally as this one, uh, yeah, this is uh, all places that'll leak if it, uh, if it isn't sealed here, so because the old stuff was just, you know, they had really hammered it in there at the factory, but it was all pretty dried up and just makes it impossible to clean. So I ripped it all out of there and I've got new stuff and I'm just gonna hammer in there. Not very exciting, so we'll cut to where I'm swearing at it. Okay, uh, here we go. There's the last bits of stainless roof rail installed and the rubber in there. This uh, rear piece we rebuilt earlier and put some felt on there and then the new rubber in here. And this is the piece of trim that hides all the screws from the other ones. And it, uh, the rubber hides the screws that hold that on. So that is the end. I'm just doing a little bit of fine tuning here. Get it nice and even. Kind of got to push it in around a little bit. Kind of flap it a little bit here and there. And so there's a molded piece to go here that I'll have to make or cobble in or do something. And this guy here is done. This is the dancing one, so that's fixed now. We can get rid of that. Okay. Again, car not clean at all. Whatever. Just uh, let's see where we're at with the window. All right. Well, that's not bad. It's a little low. I think that should be up a little higher, so it's just a matter of adjusting the stops there. And, uh, right, so the next thing I think I'm going to do is start putting the uh, the door rubbers in, and then we'll finalize the adjustment on these. I've got, uh, you know, we've got fuzzies in here, and we've got fuzzies to go on the inside, so there's still a few things to do, but I'm just going to keep plugging away here. Uh, let's see if we can get some of the, the rubbers and trunk rubber in here. Okay. So oh, there's the door rubber uh, tacked on. I'm still going to have to figure out what to do up here with these uh, specially molded ones from the factory that are of course completely decomposed. This is an original piece. You can see the profile is different from the new one. This wide stuff went down to about here. I, uh, I left this on the vent window when I was putting the two cars together so I'd have some sense of how it fit originally and it, it was a good idea. So since you can't buy this, I'm leaving that on there for now. And I might try and modify, put something together here anyway. But uh, basically, I glue it on as per the instructions, put a little tape on there so it'll stay put till it's dry. And then basically, I'm just going to slam the door and see what happens. Nice. 
All right, let's let that uh, set up overnight and I'll do the other side. I forgot that I didn't buy the trunk rubber, so I'll have to find some generic stuff and, and buy that. Uh, so, no panic there. Still a few things to do. I really want to get these door rubbers on and then uh, most of the work is going to be making the pieces you can't buy. In this case, the rubber lines up here, sits along here, and then gets glued along here. This is the inside corner where the rubber goes. So. I don't know, I don't get too cute with this stuff. Just goop it on there or whatever. Okay, well, this is impossible with one hand, so I'll be back in a minute here. Okay, there's that, and a little bit over there. And same situation as the other side with the original rubber here, and uh, still a little bit of modifying to do there, and a little bit to do here. Uh, again, these rubbers are excellent at what they do, but they are not original. Hello. How's it going? Have you been having a little too much fun today? What? Hi there. What have you been up to? Looks like you've been up to no good. Let's try and close the door. Hmm. Like no problem. I think I will start adjusting the windows. I think the rest of the weather stripping can be, you know, the details, the corners, the funny shit can be sorted out with the interior in. I don't think there's too much more to worry about there. So I'm going to start lining up these here, get that still loose. You know, we got to do a bunch of that. So I'm going to start doing that. I think what I'm going to do is let these rubbers dry on here overnight. Because if I keep opening and closing these doors, it's just going to fall off. So let's get her glued up really good. Tomorrow I'll come out and fit the windows up and uh, see how it goes. Because once the windows are in, we can really move ahead. We can do package tray, door panels, kick panels. Uh, I guess I haven't made those yet either. Okay, there's a few things to do. Oh, sleepy dog. I'm hoping that we're going to Al's to uh, to pull the Continental tomorrow. So fingers crossed for that. I will happily put this off for a day if we can get that done. Okay, see you soon. All right, well, it's a great day and we're here at uh, Al's shop and we're gonna hopefully uh, get the Lincoln sorted out today, or rather the Continental. And I think uh, my one of my favorite things about coming to Al's is Bella. And if you think Bella sounds a little like Stella, uh, that's not a total coincidence. Hi, you gonna come say hello? Well, hi there. Aren't you a doll? Oh, what a sweetie. You gonna let us come play with Dad today? Hmm? Yeah? Don't you look very nice. Are you having fun today? That's good. Well, it's time to get to work. What a nice girl. Uh, Jim's arrived and we've got the Continental up on the rack, so we're gonna just uh, go in and see how she's going here. Try and help Al out a bit. Yeah. You want some blocks or something? Yeah, the car's so fucking low, away. Eh? Yeah, yeah. You want them under the frame? Well, Jim, you look good? Yeah, uh, really good. Right yeah. This car looks worse off than I, uh, so I was looking at pictures of it when it had all the paint on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the big thing. part of the process is making it ugly first. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's really, really exciting. You good to get all this, uh... Yeah, to get all these kinks yeah, out of get it. get the trunk to close. Well, that's the big one, is getting that. And then, of course, it'd be nice to get the front sorted out. Because this is, what, down, right? I think so. Because, uh, yeah, right? This is all yeah. down. So, this whole thing is down.
going to put it on uh, on these uh, wheel stands so that it can kind of skid around on the rack as we pull on it. Can we pop it in neutral? Oh, yeah. easily, yeah. You see the old repair they tried there? Right here. Yeah. See the heat and it's kinked still? Yeah. So, who am I talking to? There's nothing Al hasn't seen. No. Literally nothing that Al hasn't seen. Fuck. Do you want to drop the tailpipe? Well, I thought if we could just come along it over a bit. Yep. I'm worried about those fucking AC lines. Oh, I think they're long discharged, so if they're... You want to take that bracket off? That rubber stopper. I might bust it off, though, guys. Oh, that's fine, yeah. yeah. No, that's all right. Oh, you're talking about the bump stop? Yeah, I don't want to set it on fire. Yeah, no. And, yeah, that's all right. All that shit we'll fix. Don't worry about it. So, what Al has done here is uh, run the big heavy chain through the cross member here and tie it down to the racks. Now the car can neither move back nor up. So that's a long ways towards stabilizing the car. Just like with machining and setup is most of the job. We got the come along hold the exhaust out of the way. And here's the area of concern. So just trying to get everything out of the way here. That's gonna have to get very hot. We're kind of set up here on the, in the frame. Right, now we've got a nice view of that. And tell, tell your, there. your dedicated listeners, a <laughs> rosebud is not preferred. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I use it. Because, well, you just wash the heat, right? But it usually you should use just a, a smaller, you know, like oh, a welding, okay. an oxyacetylene welding tip, right? <laughs> I've only ever seen you use <laughs> <laughs> And that's all I use. <laughs> and when somebody says, oh, you can't use heat, you know, when you get something, you're, you're compressing steel, right? You got to relax it somehow. Oh yeah. yeah, it's all work hard. As soon as it's damaged, it's work hard. Yeah. It? So you gotta relax it. If this is not recommended, sticking your face behind the fucking thing. <laughs> I don't think on that's too much of an angle, but... Oh, look at that! You could actually see the scale jump off of the frame right there. <laughs> Get a little more shit here. And being I use a rosebud, it takes a while for all the gas to get oh, to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not recommended.
looks like factory meat. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look at that, hey, the kink has just jumped right out of it. Yeah, that's amazing. Phenomenal. Yeah, that side's fucking good, too. Can you come back a bit? <laughs> the tragedy is, if this had been done before they beat all the kinks in out of the quarter, it would have all just popped out, you know? Oh yeah, the car would have just... It would have, like, the trouble is, now all this... Oh yeah, locked in. It's all locked in. <laughs> like, look at this guy. There's a lot of bad body work on From YouTube. the fucking Haynes manual where it just shows oh, yeah. the guy. <laughs> the the, remember the fiberglass over the yeah, hole? Yeah. The, the put your chicken mesh Street over the hole. Yeah, there, but, yeah. yeah it's all, I think it's just like a 68 Valiant. I yeah. remember that, yeah. yeah. I guess we need to tie it down. Oh, you're already tied down. Yeah, you're I just tied. need a pair of pliers behind you guys there. I'm hoping this might do something. <laughs> Well, it's not going to stress the machine out anyway. No. Yeah. Figured that was going to happen, guys. Hmm. I did not figure that was going to happen. Well, I just want to get, I'm trying to get as much on that fucker as possible, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's a stand clear situation. Oh, look at that, it's going. Yeah, she's going. against herself here. That's far enough. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, uh, Farrell from Shopcat has brought my lawnmower back and I'm kind of excited to see it go. So it's the one cylinder Briggs and Strat version of the Will It Run show. Oh my god, you washed it! I did, I did. Well, it doesn't look that good in the time that I bought it. You know, I bought this thing probably 25 years ago. It's a 1977, as near as I can tell. Is that a 77? You even decoded it. <laughs> look at that. Damn, it's kind of shiny almost. All right, well, I guess we'll think she'll it. go. I hope so. Choke Get on and, and let's see what happens. Close. Gonna make a liar. Oh, there we go. So it will draw fuel now? Yeah. Oh good. It's a neat little setup actually. There's two pickups. And okay. And the first pickup's in the tank. Yeah. And that pump pumps it into like a little built-in bowl. Yeah, okay, I saw that, yeah. yeah. And I then, didn't know that's how it worked though. Like it's been sitting for a while. Yeah, you can. You can actually tip it back. Oh, and, and slosh it up in there, yeah. interesting. And then it's kind of got a slot, so it'll just, excess just runs back. Oh, so, okay, I yeah. had no idea. What a weird little thing. It is pretty odd, but it's pretty ingenious, really. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a float, you don't have a needle, you don't have... What a nice uh, setup, yeah. Yeah. Jesus, it's never... Look at... Well, I changed the oil, actually, for the first time. Oh, yeah. We needed the valves and all that. Yeah. 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 I had had it, and I was like, well, 25 years, probably time to change the oil. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, let's wheel her up there. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta pick my cherry tree today. I was gonna say, are those Look like, those. can you eat them? Oh yeah, they're yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, they're incredibly good. Oh, right on. <laughs> mm, they're sour. Yeah. But sour. they're good. I'm gonna pick them today. Doesn't look like they should go any longer. I was in your fuel tank. <laughs> Stick. <laughs> 1977, what? Uh, coral, 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 and Heavy duty. Thanks very much, boss. Hey, you're welcome. Fantastic. I can't wait to go start trimming up the old jungle here. Yeah. It's a right. cool machine. I, I it's it's a heavy like duty, it. right? Like, it is. It's actually a well-made thing, so yeah. that's why I never bought a new one. No. Because no it's not going to be as good as that, not even no. close. No. That thing will last me the rest of my life. Absolutely. Or three years, whichever comes first. <laughs> Okay, we got a uh, special episode of Classic Dars tonight and a special guest. And so I thought we would have a fun little uh, challenge here. I'm going to pick a couple of uh, random Classic Darts and we're going to see um, what uh, what our buddy uh, Luke thinks going up against uh, Alex in the Classic Darts department. So uh, I'm going to pick, I don't know, we'll pick two or three and the fellows will each have to try the same one. And we'll put them in our uh, little magic cigarette box here, so those guys uh, don't know what it is. So let's have a look. What are we taking here? Got to have the standby. I think we'll do a couple of those. Oh man, there's some ferocious ones in here. Oh, there's none there. Oh, uh, those are kind of. Send easy. us your classic darts. We're running low. We're running low. <laughs> uh, triple fives. Oh, okay, we'll put some of those. Oops. Damn it. Oh yeah. Those are classics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There. Okay. Hello. Good. Hello. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Anybody can get through four of these babies. And <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a part of it. these segments. <laughs> 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 okay, we'll get the boys in here.
How's your trip to the Classic Darts Museum, sir? So far, the tour guide's a little less than I expected as far as... I really expected more. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't say I expected more. I just, I expected when I Anything entered... Just something, <laughs> right? There's nothing. Although he has introduced me to Van Van Breckel. Van Breckel. Oh, Van, Van Breckel, Breckel yeah, right. the official yeah. sponsor. Okay, pull the piano. You guys ready? This is where it all starts. This is where it all starts. Just slide that. Special episode of Classic Darts. The smoke off. Oh. oh. What's big. in store? Is this is this mine? This is yeah, yours. yours. I because I'm the guest, right? That's you, right. you take the visitor, smoke and then you reset. Team. Okay, reset. Let me reset. Oh, oh, good. Now it's my turn. There we there go. There we go. That's your... That's you have to rescue it. There we go. It'll, it's all right. Wow, that's a rough shape. She's not <laughs> mint. Yours yeah. looks better. Can you give... Yeah, I mean... Okay. I was a little more prepared than oh, you, Oh, I, I see what this is. First impressions, gentlemen. What do you think? Flavor country. Really? <laughs> well, what sort of flavor? Uh, it, it has a mesquite kind of... <laughs> It's like uh, we're on the open plains. Oh man, I hope your doctor doesn't see this. Yeah, I don't know That's a classic. <laughs> I don't know where the back for this is. It's an Elias. Ely, Ely. What'd you call me? Elias. Elias. You open need a plains. Flavor Country passport yeah. to get in or That's out right. of Flavor Country. Yeah. Exactly. This one's burning the eyes a bit. He brought glasses. Oh yeah, right. You see? I thought ahead. Dual filter. Oh, that's why they're so smooth. Smooth. They are. <laughs> it's smooth. Everybody just you gonna smoke that dart or are you just getting to know it? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Cause uh, well I can hold it back and that would fucking symbolize that I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> or I could fucking savor it. I'm the one that went to flavor country, okay? I don't even think you're fucking inhaling, but... <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> Uh, what it was went the show down. about the cooking when they did that? Oh, Iron Chef. I'm right. hard into my filter. Yeah. Oh. Well, you feel free to put it out. Yeah, where are you putting it out? We're not we smoking filters here. Yeah, it's not, it's filter not my challenge. classic filter. That's a Burger King ashtray. Nice, eh? I don't know. Well, what do you guys give them out of 10? What do you think for aftertaste? For aftertaste, I give it a minus 30. Like, what's the, what's the first thing you think of when you go, right now? Cancer. Like, for me, it's like I want one of my cigarettes right now. Yeah, yeah. maybe it's one of those where like you're an going. Appetizer mm, I need a, a cigarette. It just so happens that you're in luck. Oh, do, oh we have more darts. Do you need a cigarette? Oh yeah, that was oh. round one. I'll hit the fucking piano. Again. Okay. Hit the piano, tappy tappy, magic piano, dish them out. And okay, okay, who's up there? That one's a. It's an unfiltered uh, magic dart. There. I went first last time. You can have okay. the honors. Straight from. Somewhere in Europe. Greece again. I'm going to Is say. it Greek again? I don't know. That's smooth. <laughs> Silky smooth. It's like a cigarette that's been in the rain. Yeah, but like a tropical, magical rain. Like the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> You don't sound convincing. <laughs> no, this is this is <laughs> doesn't sound convincing. He's sure. sponsored by Kuloop, so he has to say yeah, that. I'm sponsored by Kuloop, <laughs> unfiltered smooth. What is yeah. the two dots? Well, I seen the sticker you on your truck when you came in. This is more like flavor county. It's a pretty poor thing. Is it poor? It's not good. Poor? It's, not good. It's, it's subpar. It's not good. Mm. Kuloop, smooth. Oh, a little boy. Flavor cigarette. country. It has the word harm right in the name. I'm not enjoying this one as no, no, as a, much as the last. It's a grind. It's a grind. It's yeah. uh, the number 11 car needs a new sponsor. You get, like the burn under the tongue? Hmm. Not at all. Oh, I got a bit of it. It's nice. I'm not a fan, to be honest. I'll get through this. I'm here to win. <laughs> it's like a fucking old dry bag of lawn clippings went into this. Yeah, it reminds me of high school. Yeah. Who's winning? Well... The it's more of a uh, more winning. of a marathon. Yeah, there's, nobody really wins here. There's no winner. There's yeah, no winner. It's, no uh, yet. No it's kind of, of it's losers. like the opposite of modern school where nobody losers, you know? where nobody <laughs> loses. Now here nobody wins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys ready to tap on those guys? You ready to tap? Cheers. 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 All right. Fuck it. Kulu. Kulu for the win. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
It's the best show. Yeah. My nose is Please sweating. unsubscribe. Ready? Hey. Just give her a little tickle. Come on, little fella. Come on, little buddy. There we go. There we go. She's a beauty. It's another unfiltered piece of goodness. This looks nice. I hope it's also European. What are oh, we? it's an export gold standard. Oh, oh it's the green death. Oh, oh, oh. These are the, the good green ones. death. The green death. The good ones. Circa come 1970. I'm gonna, now, is it legal to give her just a little? That's a trend. Oh, yeah, you can give her a little tune up if you want. Okay, need. Yeah. I'm just gonna jump at this fucking golden opportunity. The I'm just excited green to book a ward air. These are great. These fucking are the best. Round three Green Death. Everybody's smoked stale Green Death before, but have you smoked 50 year old stale Green Death? <coughs> right? <coughs> Fuck, I'm getting eye cancer just from standing here blinking so much. I don't know. Of course, I ain't smoking those, so. <laughs> the, is there a spittoon in the classic dark? That? No, no, that's classic chew. Okay. That's, a, that's in a different studio. That's in a different studio. Yeah. Classic chew. Classic, the, that's we chew the, old red man that we find the under the car so seats. Yeah. Yeah. Join the channel, become a member, that's and right. you'll get classic chew. Classic chew, chew members only. Uh, that's how right. I feel. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's hard to feel any other yeah. way. It's not so <laughs> so much that it's flavor country. I would, I would more say. It's shitty. It's along the lines of shit. Yeah, it's a shitty. Yeah, shit shitty. it's pretty bad. Shitty country. No country for old darts. They smell like a burning car. It, it well, yeah. I think mine's got a little brake fluid on it. I have brake fluid on my hands. So do I. What? Gold standard. It's like a witch's broom. Oh, no barfing on my <laughs> no, camera. No, we're good. We're I'm good. good. Right. Yeah, everything's fine. Does everybody need a minute. Yeah, no, nope. I was just settling in. We're good. <laughs> Got a bit of a cramp, but kind of a, <laughs> got a bit of a lung cramp. <laughs> Other than that, we're good. Pencil crayon. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking. Slightly a sawdusty yeah. flavor. Yeah. Kind of a yeah. sawdusty lead. It's, like yeah, like it's kind of a lead. Pencil crayons. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. That flavor. That yeah. But early pencil crayon. Oh yeah. yeah the old the real ones. ones. Eclectic. They, when they had the flesh, flesh color. color. Yeah. yeah. Do you have coffee and cigarettes in the morning? Oh yeah. I would call you a cigarette uh, aficionado. I have a cigarette before my coffee's made, and then you get the coffee, and you don't even take the first sip until you've got the next smoke lit, mm. and then and then you have a sip. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, this at the one. Same time, coffee yeah. And this one's yeah, a bit dry. That was the hardest one to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm all right. I got this. And we're getting through it. Yeah. Nice. You haven't tapped out yet? No, I'm good. Yeah. This is nothing, man. That must be the newfie in you. Yeah, spy. Yeah, it's really just another day at the old office. Another yeah. day. Ooh. I guess we you can check this off the list of things you want. <laughs> so what do you give that one out of ten? Oh, same. All of them are at that's the rock bottoms. That's There's a, zeros in. They're all poor. Well, I'd give that one a point three. The first one was too weak. Look, yeah. I feel like fucking Goldilocks tonight. Like the yeah. first one was too weak. The yeah. second one tasted too much like shit. Yeah. <laughs> and this one is <laughs> fucking falling apart. Oh, Holy. you what? did bust it, over. I bought fives. out the triple fives. Triple Fair warning, they have to cut them because they're king size, so they have to Let's hack the ends off. See, I'm good. How is it? Oh, She's much smooth. Better. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's a quality good. dart nice. right there. Well, here's to the queen. To okay. Liz. To the queen. To Liz. May she long, may long she reign. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck they say. That's right, anything can happen. Oh, those are nice. This is you're in for a fucking treat here. Triple fives. Mm. Oh, yeah. buddy, these are. I'm nice switching cigarette. brands. These are you, yeah. These are a nice cigarette. Really yeah, nice. I thought you guys like these for dessert after the mm -hmm. last these, three. These are nice. These the were last three. Were pretty I would, harsh. You know what? I would place this as a dessert cigarette. Like Look a, at that. Just like HP sauce and just in, in, tea. endorsed. Yeah. 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 And Rover. Yeah. It's like I'm back in Edinburgh. Have you been? Wait a minute, isn't that Scotland? Yes. Oh. But the Queen rules that. Oh, as well. does she? Okay. Of course. That part of the EU? They would love to fucking separate. Oh, I bet. I think I'm going to have to get my brother in law to drive home. Though. Get your very own fucking classic dart set, is what you meant to say. No. That's not cool. It's bad enough everybody stole the will it run. I ain't stealing classic darts. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah, there's a big it. classic yeah, right. darts. Yeah. You punch it up and Golden it just fucking... Conan O'Brien's got it all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Everybody's <laughs> smoking shit. Right. Andy oh. Richter's hitting yeah. the export right. greens. They're all coughing and dipping <laughs> fucking tobacco yeah, on right. their <laughs> Tonight is George Clooney on Classic Darts with Conan O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> the Max Weinberg number sevens. Hey, do you want people to show up at your helmet trial? No, I don't need the support. You sure? Yeah, Would yeah. that be fun though? I think I burnt my lip. How? It's filtered. No, not on this one. Oh, the last one? Yeah. The previous couple. Those last ones were rugged. That was... I'm not going to lie. I didn't enjoy it. No, it wasn't good at all. No. There's it no was... shame in that. I've never oh, seen you're a finished. camera with this yeah. much garbage. You gave up, did you? No, it's done. Oh, that's too bad. bad. I'm not. Look how much quality tobacco I've got left. Ooh, yeah. Maybe you oh, talk more man. than me, so I smoke more than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's hey, a that's valid true. point. Right? <laughs> Anybody that's met you knows Facts. that's true. <laughs> yes. Uh, I know it's true. Yeah, that's right. I think mine's done. Yeah, I think you win. Yeah. On that cigarette. That's a win. That's a win. Nice. She's for over win. Nice. Nice work. Yeah, and thanks for uh, coming on Classic Dars today. I can't uh, thank you for having me. It's uh, an... <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, I'm happy to be here, but I can't thank you for doing and, this. And just for the folks at home, like none of this is bullshit. No. They're real cigarettes. They're real Classic yeah. Darts. Yeah. The giant cramp going across my abdomen, they're real Classic Darts. Yeah, Man. I'm just going to go run a 5K and then <laughs> eat a pizza and go to sleep. I'm going to go fall over. <laughs> We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Fucking A. So, we're here at Cold War Motors. First of all, thank you, Scott, for having Cheers, us. Buddy. It's been a good, good time. time. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So, we both, one, I want to thank Terry. He donated to our channel on the way here. Thank you so much. Terry Lee, 401 on Instagram. We stopped. He donated to our channel and the cause to get here to Cold War Motors. And then on top of that, gave us a lovely gift to bring out to Scott. Which is this just stunning sun. Are you kidding? Look at that. Right? Wow. And it's, uh, look at it, it's all there. And yep. it's in beautiful condition. It really is. I actually needed one. Like, I have thrown away... Uh, most of the modern ones, you know, yep. I just chuck them out. So uh, you use them two or three times. Well, they just and they work, and then I just throw them in the lawn because they're just junk. So right. this will last the rest of my life. So yep. thank you, Terry. That is extremely generous of you. It's very, just absolutely perfect, uh, perfect thing, and I'm very happy to have it. So thanks again, man. What a beautiful machine! And I'm guessing, what do we think? 50s sometime. Is it on Look at that, isn't that nice? Yeah. Power timing light. And then this guy just folds flat. Yep. Isn't that nice? And yeah, just, so. just light use. Like it's yeah. just. Oh, and I love the original hammer tone paint still yep. on there in beautiful shape. Just a really, really nice thing. So uh, thanks so much, man. What a very generous and thoughtful thing to uh, donate to the worst place in the world here. <laughs> well, uh, gentlemen. Cheers. Here's to an amazing week yes, at Cold War Scott. Motors. Very much. I just wanted to say thanks again so much to Luke and Rob for coming by from Coastal Auto Reaction all the way from out on the coast, yeah. hence the name. Anyway, uh, well, yeah, just uh, had a great time. We had a great week, and I got my uh, Cummins uh, salvaged, and really lucky that we did because that could have ended disastrously. So uh, yeah, that really worked been out bad. really well, and I hope they're uh, content with some patchy poo on the old Dodge here. and. Very. That was a very good time. So, uh, guys, check them out, Coastal Auto, and uh, yeah, have a safe trip. And we will. thanks again. Yes, Huge thank thanks again for yeah, fixing cheers. my baby. Oh yeah, Scott, this very truck good. means thank so you much again, to me. Rob, for all the help. And yep, we got to, maybe we uh, maybe we got a little better at something here. Oh yeah, it's so. this thing is she's rock solid. Yeah, now you can go do all the all the finish do work, all the other shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, then what? Motor time, hey? Yeah, then it's it's motor time. <clears throat> well, that's a, that's a little further drive than this. Yeah, we're we're going to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what we're going to do. We've accomplished yeah, yeah. this. Well, yeah. That's great. Well, it was a good week with a couple of real survivors here. So, cheers, and guys. here you go, Scott. we got oh, some decals you. for you. Oh, thanks very much. Perfect. Oh, I will definitely be plastering these around. Nicely done. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank we'll you for having us. Oh, it was a good Honored. time. Yeah. Again. Very good. Very good. Good Amazing. week.
Great times. He's a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. Acapulco, we're gonna fly it down to Rio. 